Hey everyone, Ryan and Tom here. This week at Secure It, we're talking about the industry and the people who get it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an old dinosaur industry. It's entrenched. And uh, it's not going to be easy to move the needle on this one. But we are having success. It's actually moving a little faster than we thought. But there's a lot of people out there who they don't watch Pursuit. They don't watch the Outdoor Channel. They don't you know, read magazines we advertise in. And they don't look at the web much. Um, and they've been misled by this industry. And they don't hear our message because they're just not looking. So we, you know, we really rely on our customers and the people who get it to talk to other people about it. And it, it's happening, but the, the quicker we can make this change, the safer this country will be, the, certainly the better condition our firearms will be. Absolutely. So we want you guys to share your success stories with other people, and we're going to share some with you today. All right, so here's a gun wall that we got from our customer. Definitely one of the nice ones. Yeah, you know, he... Uh, Framed it out in a black, like black wood, decorative corner pieces. What caught my eye, and it's not something we've done, um, I really like it. He's got labels under all his guns, and it gives it a real museum-quality look to it. Yeah, he knows everything where everything goes, and it's just such a clean display. It really is. Um, you got bins along the bottom with all these magazines and ammunition, it looks like. Um, it's, a really nice, it's a really nice job, very clean um, and that's just using grid wall that's you know boarded right up against itself, so it is a you know a one piece clean backdrop to hang to hang all your firearms. So here's a safe room that we helped design, and it looks really nice. Yeah, they've got on the first wall, they've got a lot of display uh, rifles, and then if you notice on the bottom, there's a row of upper cradles and the lower shelves. He used single stock shelves across the whole place, which gives you a ton of flexibility in terms of how you store your guns and a lot of capacity. On the back wall, you've got vertical rifles with magazines and then gear storage above. And on the final wall, it's, there's some firearms there, but there's a lot of gear storage. You know, when you do a whole room like this, the level of flexibility for what you can do is pretty amazing. And he's got this tricked out really, really well. All right, guys, this is Daniel Defense. We did their arms rooms and really just showing a true high density storage system. Yeah, we were able to get three levels here, which is not very common. And we're using a lot of stock, single stock shelves because guns are gonna be coming in and out. There's gonna be different lengths, different types, and that gives them a lot of flexibility. Yeah, you could take your upper row of rifles and drop individual rifles down lower if you've got tall rifles, short rifles, and you're just trying to integrate the stocks and barrels. Again, and this is for maximum room capacity. The guys at Daniel Defense did a really good job. Um, Sean here was down there working with them, get this thing designed and get it built. I know if you go to Daniel Defense, I believe they do tours and you can actually get in to see these rooms. So here's something that's really different, and this one is really cool. Yeah, it reminds me of the Kingsman. I'm going to say this is the gentleman's tactical storage solution. And what he did is he went into a cabinet or part of the closet of a really nice walk-in closet. And uh, there are doors you can't see in the photo that close and lock up. It's a really cool system. It's a small system. I believe he just used two of our Steel 6 kits to create this. Now, this is how I would do a system if I was just getting into firearms. I'd put this up, put my three guns in it, and go, Honey, it's all done, but I've got to get this thing filled up. It's not going to look good. <laughs> You're not going to be happy with it until I fill it up. Yeah, this guy's definitely got a plan. In all seriousness, he has not uh, loaded his firearms on it. It's actually a nice system. He broke it up into separate panels, which are going to have different firearms on it, different styles of firearms. Yeah, there's a lot of space. And I really like how we use the small panels on bottom because you don't really need necessarily the large panels always. If you're going to put stuff on there, then yes, go with the large panels. If it's just for the guns, you can get away with the small ones. Yeah, the 16-inch of vertical is plenty of space for adjust to make adjustability of the cradles to grab any firearm. In this case, what we're really highlighting here is he's got a lot of storage, and he's created very economically. Mm -hmm. So here's a Model 52, a little bit different than what we've been seeing in the past. Yeah, he's got it set up for what looks like it's a range kit. He's got some high-end rifles and all his gear for going to the range. Now, what you can't see in the photo is he's using horizontal mounts as hooks for his range bags. Uh, now, we see people with, you know, sometimes people get a quad system, and they'll use each cabinet for a different application or a different type of storage. Yeah, here, now here's another 52 
with uh, a good mix of rifles. And you see the difference in the length of the rifles. Even the shotgun, you can run with, the, with by lowering the saddle. He runs the barrel on the outside of the storage tray at the top. And then he's using magnets, magnetic blocks on the door to hold a lot of magazines. So here's a 52 with a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, this guy, he, he's really maximize the storage capacity of a Model 52. And you get an idea of just how much gear, and you can't even see in the photo behind these rifles, he's got trays, and there's a lot of gear and parts in the cabinet. Yeah, now what he's using here is an 11, 11 peg pistol rack, which is a very popular option to put up top in a 52. And just so you guys know, that gives you, if you do put that in, gives you about 43 inches of space for rifles and other stuff. Right, with the, that's with the handles of like a 1911 hanging down off the pegs. The peg pack holds 11 handguns. You can also use the pegs that you're not using for handguns as hooks to hang from slings, to, you know, any gear with a loop that you want to hang in the cabinet. This photo came from one of our Canadian customers. And what's interesting, I mean, he's got a lot, of, a lot of stuff packed into the cabinet very efficiently. But if you'll notice, there's handguns on the right side. He's actually using the trigger lock on the gun and a bungee to hold the handgun into one of our cradles, which actually creates pretty workable, a workable system, something we'd never thought of. So here's a really cool story. Now this is a vending machine that someone retrofitted into being a firearm storage system. He's using our conversion kits. He's got a steel six and a couple of rapid sixes in the cabinet. Now we make those conversion kits to convert safes to proper storage. What we find though is a lot of the people that buy these use them in other applications. It's, it creates really affordable storage. When this thing's buttoned up, nobody's ever gonna think it's full of guns. It's a really neat application. Here's another retrofit kit application. He's taken a cobalt tool cabinet, a couple of rapid six kits to create a pretty neat storage cabinet that when it's closed up, it certainly does not look like something to be containing firearms. Now, the conversion kits are available, let everybody know, at the new Gander Outdoors. They're available at Academy Sports Through the South and some other dealers throughout the country. It really is an affordable way to create gun storage in almost any kind of cabinet, small closet, or in a safe. So we really wanted to share those pictures with you guys because it highlighted the functionality and just the different things you can do with our system. Now, we want to see what you do, so please feel free to send us some pictures. Yeah, if you're sending us a, you know, application photos, just put a comment in there, a note with the photo that we can use them um, in shows like this. We never share customer personal information. We never share locations of where anything is. Um, we're very discreet about that, but we do really like to see how people are using the system. Absolutely. Well, that's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.